What's going on, YouTube? Flame Rage here. Welcome back to Unheard. Now, gotta clear up uh, something that happened. Uh, with my last recording, I did, I didn't turn the correct microphone on. I accidentally turned on the headphone microphone, which um, unfortunately, as you can see here, was uh, disconnected from the port. So yeah. Uh, you were able to hear the audio, that's why you were able to hear the game, but not me. Uh, so yeah. And also, uh, one thing I wanted to address in that last video that I started talking about is that I won't be finishing Layers of Fear until I get my editing software back, because that DLC, it looks like there's just so much to do that's going to take a lot longer than what I usually go about to, to uh, complete it. So I, I need the editing software, so I know... I don't know which parts to, you know, just kind of take out, which parts to leave in. Because as you saw from the first one, it took me a while, you know, just to try to figure something out with it, with no success. So, yeah, that's all I wanted to say about that one. But, uh, oh, and also, I got a real job! Yay! I actually start, uh, tomorrow, as of, uh, the time of this recording, so... my own recording software, or my own editing software again, so that's going to be fun. But in the meantime, I'm going to start with uh, Unheard. Uh, yeah, so Yeah, a number of agents have already attempted to solve it. None of them succeeded. And there were complications. Don't threaten me with a good time. Alright, as you know, what I like to do in th with these videos is, you know, uh, get the names. Get everyone's names first. Hello, they're coming officers. How can I help you? I heard your siren. I'm Elvira. This is my partner. Are you in charge here? Yeah, yeah. I am the administrator of this facility. To what do we owe? Oh, hell, I'm Asian stereotype. We're here to investigate reports of an escape. Aha, yeah. How is that? <laughs> Dealing with it in time. It's a minor incident. Not that big of a deal, really. Not that big of a deal. This is a mental institution. Are highly agitated. Who are the real mental patients? And who is Ghost? I'm really intrigued. I, th I thought this was about a bombing. And they do, from time to time, attempt to escape. This one happened to be successful. We have people out searching. But our patients return on their own volition after a day or two. How did it happen? This time, I mean. Hmm. Let me call my... Ah, right. We were having a therapy session. My patient suddenly picked up an ashtray and hit me on the head. Then jumped out the window. Your head seems fine to me. Oh, it wasn't a heavy blow. And in this profession, he prepared for these sort of outbursts. Roar with the punches, as they say. A sight case on the loose poses a threat not only to themselves, but to the public. Take us inside. We'll need to interview the other inmates. And get us their files. Interview? You want to talk to them? Where are the patients? Just show us the way and we can conduct the investigation ourselves. Well, if you insist. This way, please. How did this window break? This is where the patient escaped. Be careful of the glass on the floor. I need to see this patient's file. Ah, 
You mean patient number 68? What do you want to know, officer? I've spent so much time with everyone here that I can practically recite the files from the Hold up. Why is this gate open? No wonder you're trying to cover up how easy it is to slip out of here. All the doors are unlocked. <laughs> unlocked? Ah, yeah, that was me. I apologize. I was in such a hurry to greet you earlier, I forgot to lock it behind me. <laughs> oh. Don't worry, so I've been here the whole time. I can assure you that no one else escaped. Let's check inside. Nice decor in board games doesn't change the fact that they're still stuck in a mental facility. Hey, you arrivals! Grab your clothes and toiletries! Huh? Who are you? None of your concern. Pick your seat and sit down. I don't want any trouble. Who's this guy? Patient number 27 has a non-bizarre grandiose delusion of sleep. He thinks he's a caregiver. The hospital is short-handed, so we need People here are more nuts than I thought. What's she doing? Watching TV. But the TV isn't even on. Okay, there's other name? girl names here. Patient 42 suffers from severe social anxiety that manifests as selective mutism. Talks to no one. Neither of these two are going to be any help. Let's split up and canvas the rest of the place. Check the room in the air, would you? On it. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I am. Like, but you are. I told you. I <laughs> are both of you patients here? Yes. Speak for yourself. I am. Like, but you are. I told you I ain't! What's going on here? Are you okay? It was my older brother. He has a Shut up! I'm as sane as ever! You're the crazy one! I'm crazy? Sorry, sir. I was talking to my brother. All right, then. Ma'am, mind if I ask what you're in here for? I'm a reporter. Before you got sick, you mean. I actually did want to know what it was that got you committed. Are you a police officer? Yeah. Then... Will you believe the things I'm about to tell you? The pants. Let me hear them. I'm a reporter. A few months ago, I received a tip saying this hospital was conducting some kind of clandestine experiments on its patients. I disguised myself and checked in to investigate. I've collected all the information I need, but now I can't prove I wasn't sick in the first place, or that I've recovered. So I'm stuck here with no way to publish my findings. What exactly? Here, they use a treatment method for their patients called TAT, Thematic Apperception Test. But it's not the TAT most people know today. Rather, they use the prototype used back during World War II. Basically, it brainwashes people. After the test, patients' memories will be completely erased, and their condition as well. They're programmed to respond to certain sounds, after which they'll follow any command. The hospital then goes on to claim they've been cured, but the truth is, they're nothing more than soulless robots. Tell me, officer, if you were a patient, would you want to be cured that way? You've absolutely got to get me out of here. I have to expose them. Check my notes. I've got all the evidence right here. I gotta say, that sounds more like a sci-fi film than reality. All right, let me see your notes. Wow, don't skimp on details. Let me ask you something else. You ever yeah. notice any patients in here who seem like Whoa. they're wrong? Like they're faking their illness? Mama. Yeah, me. And besides Mommy. you, honestly, from what I've seen, at least 44% of the patients here are actually sick, right. but they've been committed regardless. Okay. Makes me think this hospital's next okay. step is to experiment on normal people. That's quite the theory. <laughs> what about him, huh? Seems pretty legit. Schizophrenia. He's sick, but it's not schizophrenia. 
You made a mistake anyway. What he has is called dissociative identity disorder. That's where you have multiple personalities. In his wow. case, too. Huge difference between that Ooh. and schizophrenia. <laughs> I see. That I'll have to remember. Wait just a second. Aren't you getting me out of here? Afraid I can't. At least, not yet. I'll come back once our investigation wraps up. You don't believe me either, do you? Why you even bother, Nelly? Journalists are the watchdogs of society. Nelly, okay, that's what Nelly. Yeah, and what good did any of that do, huh? The cops didn't even believe me. <laughs> You've heard about the Unicorn, correct? Huh? Who do you think I am? Of course I heard of him. Mm -hmm. Henry Murray, the inventor of TAT, used his test to evaluate soldiers during World War II. During the Cold War, he used it to interrogate spies. But did you... You to open this door. Just do it. All right, all right. Just give me a second. I need to find the key. Are you kidding me? One second. During the Cold War, he used it to interrogate spies. But did you know that he also gave it to innocent students back in 1959? Oh, yeah? What's all that got to do with the Unabomber? Are you kidding me? Well, it just so happens that a certain 17-year-old boy, Ted Kaczynski, was one of his unwitting test subjects. And, well, you know that. Over a period of 18 years, he ended up making and sending at least 16 bombs. What I'm trying to say is... Destroying someone mentally can have repercussions far beyond one person. Well, I'll be damned. Then that Henry Murray fella's got blood on his hands, too. I don't know if I'd go that far. Science and all the experiments that go along with it are, well, they're not wrong. It's just that sometimes people can get in so deep that they lose track of the boundaries of morality. I have nothing against the doctors. Really? I simply want to get the truth out. It's my hope that people can learn to respect humanity while still pursuing science. Ooh, reporter with a heart of gold. You know, if Mr. Director had his say, he'd just... Shut up! He told you not to tell anyone! No, all right, all right, all right. The lips are sealed. All right, let's, all right, let's backtrack here to the start. Send them away. Should you fail, you'll lead the police to us. When that happens, I need you to give a winning performance. <laughs> Don't you worry about that. I may not be an actor. They still have an ace at improv. They walk now one head up. Perfect. Hmm. First, we'll take control of the hospital. Then we'll rescue Maestro. Seriously, though, I'll test Maestro right. What's it all about, huh? Guys keep I s I This one's gonna take a while. They're not, they're not, they're not throwing names out there a lot. This isn't a real hospital. No, this is nothing more 
Joker a reality show. The reason you don't remember is for exactly this reason. The test. That TAT has brainwashed all of it. You don't even remember who you really are. Brainwashed? The hell? Yes, all of us. We were participants in this theater verite. Only the rest of the crew, the crew we were behind us, manipulated our gray matter using these... I'm wondering if names will come out as soon as uh, the, the cop shows the cop goes in. In short, the doctors aren't real doctors, and we are <laughs> We're the actors? But Oscar was the only actor in this place. Are you both patients here? Oh, oh god, oh god. My stomach I I I sorry. I I I I I gotta hey. go. And just where do you think you're going, pal? Sit back down. You can leave when I say you can leave. Which is after you've answered my questions. Okay. Thank you. But you said both of you sit down and behave yourselves. I want you to answer the officer's questions. Also, officer, I don't understand what you hope to gain. Jinxie's patience. That's a nice costume you got here, officer. Pretty convincing, even. Your minds, on the other hand, have room for improvement. You can't start off that straw. You lose any sense of foreshadowing. Just makes the audience feel off. We've a nickname patient 49, Mr. Director. And believe it or not, he suffers from something called the Truman Show Delusion. on role play therapy to treat patients like these. They're trying to interrupt or correct him will just get us nowhere. But if we play along, he'll come down oh. soon enough. Mr. Director? I'd like to ask you a few questions. Who are you, really? Look me straight in the eye. That's how you do it. Much better, much better. You gotta have a quiet sense of intimidation. You don't need a shout to be coercive. Go back and re-enter through the door. Let's shoot this scene again! What the hell? Please, officer, he meant no harm. Remember, I mentioned some of our patients are likely to initiate contact. Well, what about that one, huh? Mr. Bathroom Emergency. Was that real? Or just some excuse so we could leave? Him? <laughs> He's a thief. Hey! That, 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 that's defamation, you hear me? I'm a law-abiding citizen. Be paid! Patient number 36 suffers from an impulse control disorder. Come be known as defamania. He simply cannot stop himself from stealing. It doesn't matter to person or place. Ha! <laughs> didn't realize sticky fingers were a disease. But he's already in here, so why'd he try to run? Old habits die hard, I suppose. This one was constantly being hounded by the police. Arrested multiple times. The sight of you probably triggered a conditioned response from me. Bullshit! Just ask around, when did I ever get caught? Huh? Ha! You're saying you never got caught? Then why did you end up here? Hmm? He was a repeat offender, you see. Always stealing old things. The police found it so odd that they gave him a psychiatric evaluation. And wouldn't you know it? He was certifiable. So, instead of sending him to prison, they sent him here. Quite the nutcase, I see. Yeah, well, we are doing our best to treat them. Let's check the next room. Are you done, Tony? No. Why is this room locked? That is the seclusion. Open it. <laughs> I would strongly advise against that. Anybody in there? I must fall. This patient might be dangerous. He suffers from episodes of acute mania and violent psychosis. I told you to open this door. Just do it. All right, all right. Just give me a second. I need to find the key. This one? 
not this one. It will only take a second, I assure you. Ah, here it is. Great. Open it up. Who the flying fuck are you? I'm straight up bash your fucking brains in. All right. I'm gonna need you to calm down, sir. You get that fucking duck away from me, you hear? He fucked me up. I can't think straight. I'm gonna split his fucking throat, you hear that, huh, Doc? Huh? I'm gonna fucking murder you! Tell the doctor we can leave. Alright. Take it from here. You can leave now. I'm not sure how interviewing someone like him. Police! No. He's gone. It's safe to talk now. Damn, Tony, Tony, my man! Look at your uniform. Could have fooled even me! Keep your voice down. Say the same about you. You almost gave me a scare with all that crazy talk. Ravens, idiot. El Byron. Charming as always, I say. Jokes aside, I'll talk. Because you're always in these places. Could have fooled even me. He had the form. Could have fooled even me. Keep your voice down. Say the same about you. You almost gave me a scare with all that crazy talk. Is it called again? Rabies, idiot. Elvira. Charming as always, I see. Jokes aside, what have you found? There's a whole lot of people out there that have got their eyes on Ghost's secret stash. You look around at all? Nah, not much. I already talked to two patients. A crazy guy called Mr. Director and some thief. You seem totally fucked up. What about you? Who did you talk to? Just some delusional reporter. Oh, and a schizophrenic called Silver Spoon. Just like you said, though, both a hundred percent loose. Yes, we're on the same page. Wait, so you haven't found anything yet? So why'd you call us up here? I didn't see it. But I know where to find you. How so? Process of a at first, I didn't know what to do. No one seemed to be faking it. But then I discovered seclusion in number four. At the end of this very hall. I'm curious. Uh, the kleptomaniac. Yo, know, for, for now, I'm going to mark him as Klep. Which is short for klepto. number 68. Could he be Ghost? Nah. Think about it. What would Ghost want to get out? He got himself committed on purpose, remember? The hide from people who want his money and his life. He knows he's a dead man if he gets out. You have him. Okay, I'll get the key. Hey, I got a question. Search warrant. Of course I do. Right in here. Just on that table over there. Ah. Hey, why'd you knock out your watch? What is it? Was there no way? 
Wanted to see our search for See if he's got the key on Here. Found them. Tony and I will check out room four. You clean this up. On it. Which one's the key to room four? Oh, uh, hell if I know. Maybe one of the bigger ones? Hello? Anybody in here? Oh. We... Cut out already. What? What? Empty. He escaped oh. them? What's going on here? Don't tell me our ghost made like a ghost. This doesn't make any sense. This room's at the very end of the hall. He'd have to go by my room to get out. I have eyes I don't talk on that door this whole damn time. Hell! Still paying attention during that whole crazy act earlier. No, man. Something's not right. Look at the dust on the floor. Gotta be at least an inch thick. The only sets of footprints in here are yours and mine. No one's been in here for a long time. Check again. Huh. What about this big chest here? You don't think he hid the money, do you? The chest? Wait, don't touch it. What the? A trap! That fucker played us like a fiddle. He was me. You need to pull out. And here I thought fiddlers stuck to roofs nowadays. You know, I'd much prefer you use that mental energy. To get us the hell out of here. Oh, yeah. Because I can just waltz out of here looking like this. All we need is a little room. Tony, arrest him. We'll escort him right out of the building. Huh. Good arrest? idea. That's much. We've got our man. Let's... Sir, you got the wrong guy. Move it. I'm sick, I, I tell you. you. Quiet, you. Don't do this to me. Oh, okay, wow. Not everyone dies in this one, though, so. Why is it you wanted me to meet your peers, George? Actually, I wanted to ask you a favor, Maestro. You're an expert when it comes to art, yes? I was hoping you could evaluate a painting. All right, let's. Unless you want me. Hey, you want to do business with me? Alright, now I got now, now I have to play the fast forward game to see if anyone talks during this part. It's just two people sitting in the toilet right there. Let's see, I still have 
one, two, three, four, five names unmarked. I guess I don't talk here yet until Nelly enters the bathroom. Who's that knocking? Ray, what are you doing here? Who did this to you? I'll explain everything later. Quick, on time. I can do that, but only on one condition. Just say, whatever you want me to do, I'll do it. Within my power. You need to prove to everyone else that I'm not crazy so I can get discharged. Consider it done. I knew you weren't crazy a long time ago. Perfect. Then you can get me out of here. Well, I, I'll do my best, but, but remember, I'm just a caregiver. The doctors are the ones who have the final say. Speaking of doctors, Jennifer's in the room next door. We gotta save her too. Dr. Jennifer? So the girl sitting here is Emily. I remember that much. But why am I in the bathroom? Can't help you there. Wait, you are now cold, Ray. What happened? Huh? Hey, what are you? Uh, Ray! What the fuck? You killed her! She'll be fine. Anyway, better her than us, right? What are you even talking about? What's going on? Okay, so here's what happened. While you were treating patient number 68 earlier, you remember that, right? I was talking with James. The two of us heard this loud noise all of a sudden, so, so I went to check. It turned out 68 and broke the window and took off. By the time they came to check up on you, you were already out cold. I had this cracked ashtray next to you, too. This got me all in a panic. So I didn't notice at the gate to the inpatient center it wasn't locked. Next thing I knew, a bunch of patients had all gotten out. They, they charged me, tied me up, and threw me in the bathroom. Then, then they dragged you in after I was tied up. Jesus Christ. Then Nelly was in on this too? She doesn't really strike me as the I don't know about that. But I'm not taking any risks. They're all crazy. Who knows what they're capable of? But what is it they're trying to do? And why did you call the police when you had the chance? Okay, so the last two people are in this room. What the hell is going on? Why were the police here? Right? Figured if we really did take over the hospital, it'd be much easier to look for ghosts. No way, it's a coincidence. Do you notice anything off about those cops? Well, they were definitely looking for someone. That much was obvious. But the way they were interrogating every single patient. Alright, I need to find out how many answers are to who are the real mental patients. Oh, crap. suddenly be searching for him. Until we got that tip, everyone thought he was dead. Maybe they got it too. Anyway, what have you found so far? I haven't locked down ghosts yet, but I did find this plan B. Plan B? Pure coincidence, actually. The TV remote went missing, you see? The button on the TV doesn't work either. It got me curious, so one day I volunteered to cover Ray's night shift. Everyone left the room. I opened the TV set. Guess what I found? A bomb. Bingo! Anyone turns that thing on, it'll explode. 
I bet that's probably why he took the remote. That's further proof it was Ghost who blew up the police station. Kill his crew and fake his own death. But why would he plant another one in the same place he's hiding? That's why I said it must be his plan B. Sure, the hospital's been a safe place to lay low, but someone clearly knows he's still alive. Otherwise, they wouldn't have put a bounty on his head and we... Hold on a second. I got a fast... I got a, I got a back truck here. How was I doing, Mr. Director? Like a real professional, yeah? It was an exceptional performance. Not only did you deliver your lines with passion and bravado, your improvisation was on point. Always adjusting your lines and tones to correspond with the other actor's delivery? You truly are a master thespian! Yeah, well, you didn't have to give me such a hard time! Sorry. Occupational habits. Once I get the character, I'm no longer reciting lines. I am the character. I don't like to crap, but <laughs> that wasn't even the best performance I ever given. Most of my roles, I've done months of research. But I haven't checked my phone into a real mental hospital for at least six months. Stanislavski's system pushes me to fully embody my characters by learning how they really are. Yes, yes, of course. What about the cops? They left? Good thing you heard the siren and figured out a plan quick. If you hadn't sent me out there to stall them, God knows what they would have found by now. What are they even investigating? The runaway patient? Yes, that's what they said. But... Okay, so... Based on everything I'm hearing, here's my assumptions. The real mental patients are Spoon, Maestro, and Emily. I think Ghost is Ray. And I don't know if I got the, all the names right, but let's take. A, but, but let me let me see. Going by what I've what I've heard here, okay, we got Maestro, Spoon, and Emily, and Ghost is Ray. Okay, I have one correct answer, and I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it's the mental patients one, and I got 12 of the 14 correct, so. I'm gonna switch James and Oscar's name names. And I need to rethink this. Now just to make sure that I'm right. Let's see, let's go to let's switch Ray to James, why not? I was right about Ghost? There should be more real patience. Alright, well, hold on, let, let's, let's go ahead and switch around. Oscar with James, and James with Oscar. Okay, I got all those up correctly. So, according to this, there needs to be more real mental patients. No, not Mr. Mr. is just an actor.
so McMurphy is not one. Mr. Is it Mr. Director? He wasn't an actor. Okay. What? Based on this, I have to be number 68. Based on this, I have to be number 68. What a twist that was to that ending. That was... Uh, uh, mwah. Oh, wow. That was beautiful. Oh. Great game. Great game. That was fun. Alright, let me know if you... Let's see. Is there, like, uh, bonus missions on here? Nope. Nope. Oh, wow. What a game. So, yeah, if you enjoyed that, you know, let me know what you thought in the comments yeah. down below. Um, I will... Wow. What a game. That was fun. I liked it. Uh, let me know what you think, and if you enjoyed, leave a like, comment below, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!